All right. Welcome to the state of the franchise for the Lions. Uh, the three and four Lions, um, right in the mix with the rest of the tankers. Um, let's take a look at that. Actually, we'll give a, a little bit of a tank watch before Sam releases his content. So right now you've got Steelers, Steelers Broncos, Bears, Panthers, uh, Washington, Raiders, Jags, all right there together. Uh, Lions, Bills, Dolphins, Chargers. I, a lot of teams tanking. Frankly, not to, not unexpected with the draft class. But so the Lions are right there. Um, you know. Surprised to see the Steelers and the Broncos so bad. Bears, not really. Panthers, not really. Uh, you know, Rebel went in on this team. So, so Lions are in the running for a top 10 pick. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting to see who ends up in the top 10 and, and what they need. But for the Lions, they've got to start looking at quarterbacks. I don't know if this is the draft where you go get one. Um... Because you're not, if you're not in that top group, I guess you could settle for a Trey Lance if that's your what you like. But I, you roll Stafford next year. If you're not good, still, then you go get a quarterback. Running back, they don't need to do anything. They've got two guys who are good enough to start. Um, so it's pretty set at running back. Uh even got some you know some decent depth they're not they're not hurting it running back uh fullback you know this guy's not bad uh his lead block blocks good so he can open up lanes um kenny galladay is a stud so you've got him but I mean, you're gonna need to start looking at other wide outs you're gonna have to get better behind him because Danny Amendola is old and slow. So this is a team that I could definitely see if they end up with a top five pick and the two quarterbacks, uh, Fields and Lawrence go, they're definitely in the running for Jamar chase. Um, that he would fit in perfectly next to Galladay, uh, tight end. They're fine. Uh, Hawkinson's good star dev, you know, a downgrade from Madden 20, but that's what happens when you don't have a great rookie season. Um, and they've got depth. Not as not bad. Jesse James isn't, you know, he's a great two or three tight end. Um, so nothing to do there. Left tackle. You're probably not going to find much better in free agency. Um, and like I said, you, they've got other needs. They could address this in the draft if they really wanted to, but Decker's fine. He's not special, but he's fine. They have to get better at uh, left guard. You 68. This is a mid-round pick for them. They need to maybe take a guard in the mid-round, and that'll help. Nothing, nothing. You don't have to reach on anybody, but if you can get a decent guard in the second, third, or fourth round, he could slot in as the starter here. Center, Frank Ragno is good. Eh, you know, he's young, 24, 83. He's a centerpiece for your offensive line. He's who you're going to build this offensive line around. Another spot where they could look to go. Jonah Jackson's young and starting, so, but he's a normal dev. Not going to get much better. He might get into the mid 70s by the time he starts to regress if you focus train him which you're not going to. So, uh, you know, a couple guards in between the second and the fifth round, you know, that's fine. Nick McQueen, legacy player. Uh, he'll, him, Ragnow, you can start them on your line for the rest of Madden and you should be fine. Deshaun Hand, stud, uh, young, young guy, star dev. You're set at left end. Trey Flowers is getting way overpaid for the production that he brings. Um, but what are you going to do? You, you're you stuck with his contract. But, I mean, a half a sack this season, seven last season, he was never worth what he's getting. 
23 million in 2023 is too much for this guy who's never going to give you big sack numbers. Danny Shelton's fine. Uh, he's going to be under contract for two years, I think. Yeah, so you can, you're fine with him right now. In the future, you have to find a different D tackle because Danny Shelton's not going to do it for you. He's not, he's just a space eater. Um, which is fine if you have the linebackers behind them to, you know, really take advantage of that. Jamie Collins is fine. Another guy who's way overpaid, though, uh, for what he's going to bring to you. He's, you know, not seasoned. I want 40 tackle. I mean, he's got sacks, so at least he's bringing that number. That's good. He's on pace for a career high in sacks, so that's good. But he's bringing you absolutely nothing in past defense, which I assume Vince is running a 3-4, so that makes sense. Um, nothing special with these guys. You're going to have to, maybe in the second round, take a linebacker who's a little bit better than uh, these two. Nobody here is nobody here is special. You know, you've got a bunch of guys. Uh, I mean, Davis's 85 speed is okay, but he's in his third year, so he's not going to def much more. He's just been in the league too long, and Tavai is getting, you know, he's this is his second season, and he's hurt. So what, you know, another three weeks without him. So he's got zero chance to dev unless he gets a, unless he gets a break, breakout. So, and that's another, so like Vince really needs to look at this linebacker spot and in free agency in the draft address it because it's not going to get the job done. Nobody here is good enough. You know, Jamie Collins is the only guy who's worth starting. Everybody else is pretty bad. Corner, he's set. He doesn't have to worry about corner for a couple seasons. Uh, Coleman's good. Okuda's a stud. Okuda will probably end up being one of the top five corners by the time this Madden's over. Uh, Desmond Trufant, you know, he's old, and they signed him for a couple seasons, so he'll be around. He's going to regress hard, though. Um... But by the time you're done with his contract, you don't have to re-sign him. And you've got Mike Ford's a guy who can play your nickel slot. Uh, same with Amani here. Either of those guys is fine in the nickel. So he's set at linebacker. Or corner, sorry. Um, I also like his safeties. Harmon and Walker are good. Harmon's a little old. So you're going to have to look there. But I, I like these guys. I like Walker a lot. 25, 78. You know, star dev, he's good. Uh, you could even move, if you don't want to sign anybody, you could move curse to free safety and, and you'll be fine. You know, but his second, his secondary is pretty set. It's, it's this, it's this part of the front seven. That's worry, r worrisome because nobody here, like I said, other than Collins is even worth starting. Um, it's got Matt Prater, Prater, old, but I don't think he retires in Madden for a couple seasons, so you're fine. I, whatever. Punter's got a good leg. Not accurate, but I don't think I've seen a punter in doing this that was extremely accurate. And then he's got, you know, an extra fourth from New England and no seventh, which whatever. So these spots, he can address that offensive line if he can't in free agency or linebacker here. He's got to get a difference maker, whether it's a quarterback or Jamar chase. Um, maybe the edge rusher from Miami. Um, he's just got some holes, but all in all, this team isn't terrible. And if he wanted to roll with Matt Stafford for a couple seasons, he'd be fine. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with having Stafford. He's he's not an ideal quarterback, but he's fine. But, you know, Vince, 
Vince won a Super Bowl last time, and it, but it took him the entire cycle to get it. He was the last Super Bowl of the seasons that actually counted. So, um, but he drafted really well. Vince is a really good drafter. So, I, I'm really surprised he hasn't tried to accumulate more picks to get some extra draft picks, um, or to get more chances because. <sighs> The penalty on Flowers is too much, but by the time Vince is ready to compete, Flowers is going to be on his way out. So that's a guy I would have tried to move. Maybe he does this offseason to see if he can't get somebody to bite who thinks that they're a Super Bowl contender. But So I'll hang out for a minute or two and then spin the wheel for Vince, and we'll see what he gets. Damn, I don't believe you, Sam, but damn, if you didn't, he said no, that's crazy. Vince must think that his team is much closer to competing than I do. I, but I don't believe that you would send two, two one. I, I think that would have got rejected in this draft class. Any other draft class, maybe it goes through, but this draft class for sure, I don't think it goes through. But, all right, I'm going to spin the wheel. I'll upload this to the YouTube channel. Um, and I'll announce it in announcement. But Sam and I will be doing a podcast tomorrow, a mid-season review. We're going to break down all the divisions, and we'll do some tank watch. And we'll see where this season is going. It's been kind of an interesting one to see some teams that nobody thought were going to win put together three, four-game win streaks. So... You're, you know, it's going to be an interesting one to watch, guys. So, thanks.